you. Um, I too would like to express my own sympathies and the sympathies of the Social Democrats to those who have died during this um, uh, uh, COVID-19 um, pandemic um, in our own healthcare systems system. Um, and indeed, like one of the things that I think is really sad is that the one time people want to be around some somebody that is very close to them when they're dying, and haven't had that experience of being, for example, uh, with my own parents when they they both died, um, there is something very comforting comforting about that in the future that people will have terrible regrets for I think uh, quite a, a, a long time about, and and I think that there is uh, obviously a, a particular regret also about the restrictions around. Uh, uh, funerals, um, because it is such a, a good tradition, and it's only when you uh, you go to funerals in other countries that you realise just how important that 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 is here. Um, there is it, there was a discussion about today's sitting, and uh, indeed there is a discussion about essential workers, and indeed I've had several family members and indeed workers themselves on to me questioning why they're deemed to be essential. They're not healthcare workers and in some cases, for example, a warehouse f to provide for uh, you know, shops that aren't even open. Um, and uh, I'm trying to rationalise that, and indeed I did have a, a conversation with one of the officials who's in the news about this at the weekend to try and understand it. But there are people very upset that it's not being fully adhered to, and I think that, or there, or there isn't a proper rationale for some of the of the uh, the sectors that are open. Um, I think that's important just to put that on, on the record. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's getting uh, getting those uh, particular calls. Part of what we're doing um, as public representatives is not just about meeting here. Obviously, uh, we're, we're also working remotely, most of us problem solving, linking people to services, being that one-stop shop, gathering information, imp inputting information, Indeed, some very good ideas linking, uh, that we can link in as well, and that's, and that's happening. And also, um, uh, we're raising concerns that the public are raising with us, and we need to be able to do that. And there's something reassuring for the public to see their concerns being raised, and that's part of the reason why it's important, one of the reasons why it's important for us to meet. There's no doubt that there's a, a frustration about our ability to do our job um, and there's an expectation by the public, judging by the calls and the emails that we're getting, uh, that we need to be able to do that job. And I welcome the commitment that there is to be some degree of scaling up in the departments uh, to, respond to respond to the queries because we've lost some of the helplines that would have been available to us. Uh, people are raising general issues such as the number of tests that are being carried out, the time, the, the time it's taken to get results, the public protective equipment or private protective personal protective equipment, the quality of what has been provided is certainly coming up strongly. Uh, concern about nursing homes. Um, uh, equally, there are, there are concerns about you know, social welfare issues, domestic and increasingly um, commercial rents, and the crisis that were there before are still there, and um, we're still dealing with issues in relation to homelessness and other issues. So I also want to acknowledge that people are working differently and working remotely, and that obviously applies to the civil and public service. Many people have been redeployed. Um, to, for example, to the like of social welfare, where there's been a very sudden uh, surge in the workload. And none of us are expecting business as usual. And there's a huge appreciation of the efforts that are being made right across the public and private sector. But there's also no, no doubt that there's a high, high degree of cooperation between all parties and uh, all groups within this House. And, it, and government is not under the kind of normal scrutiny uh, that, you, that you would see, because we realise this is an exceptional situation. But we need to be able to have a two-way engagement. Very often it feels like input information. It takes a long time to come back. It's not. Uh, often a two-way engagement, and that's quite frustrating. Um, the, um, uh, the issue, I just want to go back to the issue of the PPE. Um, uh, there's a very real concern. I've, I've heard it yesterday, I'm hearing it today, about um, batches of equipment that has been provided, gowns and masks, that are not usable. Now, it may well be that there are bad batches within a batch, and I realise this was a very quick consignment. But if that is not sufficient to protect people, 
we, we have to address that issue and we have to ask, is there the capacity to um, uh, scale something up here domestically um, and what can be done about it? But I don't think if that's been raised with us in a very serious way, I don't think that we can ignore that issue. Um, I think we have to see, is there, uh, is there a way uh, that it can be manufactured differently? Or maybe it is only um, that there are um, some bad um, uh, batches within the consignment that has, has been got. Um, we also need to know, like, will the consign, will will the commitment be fulfilled, um, and uh, if not, how how do we deal with that issue? Is there anything that can be sourced domestically? And there's been some very good examples in terms of companies who have come forward with material uh, that has been uh, that has that has been uh, used. Um, people have been fa fantastic by and, by and large in getting behind the advice um, and are staying at home and they're taking the relevant uh, precautions. Um, but the, the best way that people can be, we can be sure that that will continue is that we are very honest with people about um, what the challenges are. Um, and I did hear the Taoiseach saying that there were some bumps in the road in relation to testing. I don't think that that is enough. I think you have to come out and say just exactly what the um, what the, uh, the the problem in in some considerable detail. Because this is not just about the current crisis. It's about uh, every week will be different. And and as we get past the point where, for example, we, you would be filtering people back to work. There's a concern that we have a regime in place that we don't end up with a new um, outbreak or a, an increased outbreak by virtue of the fact that we haven't got that regime in place. So we do need to know what the um, uh, what the uh, uh, the problems are because the World Health Organization, as has been said already, test, 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 and then identify the uh, uh, the, the the contacts is really important. Um, the, um, there's some, Dr. Gabriel Scully was very interesting yesterday in talking about the All Ireland approach, and this is not a political issue. This is a practical issue in terms of, of that next stage that, that has to be managed. And I think that we can't emphasise that enough, that there needs to be an all, an all Ireland approach if we're going to get control of this, um, of this uh, virus and um, on until there are satisfactory vaccines that have been uh, identified. But there are... So can I ask, Minister, that you do um, give us some detail, even if it's not today, but that you give us some detail about, about the equipment. Um, I think it's important as well that we hear something very constructive about the tests. Now, I completely understand that this is not about a, di a diagnosis, it's about a management. Uh, but, you know, it's very difficult to figure out how we were going to have a lot more tests that were being planned for, and then all of a sudden we're disco discovering a smaller number of tests are, are not being, uh, not being, um, it's not possible to do them because there is a, uh, because there is a shortage of the reagent, um, and there may well be other reasons. But we need to know, um, what is the actual position, and we need to see that plotted out um, over over a period of time. Also, who gets tested? It's absolutely legitimate that uh, front, front, frontline healthcare workers are are the, are the ones that are uh, tested first. Um, what we're hearing is that people are frustrated that they can't get back to work. They want to be back to work, and intensive care beds are not just about a place in a hospital. They're about equipment, but they're most of all about the staff that are, are the ones that will deal with them. We can't even factor what the number of ICU beds will be if we can't uh, ensure that people can get back to work. So it's really important that that, that, that issue is addressed and addressed in a thematic way and in a way where we prioritise uh, the people who needs to be, need to be prioritised. In relation to nursing homes, again, that is one that people are really upset about. There has been really restrictive um, access to nursing homes for many weeks now, yet there are outbreaks in the nursing homes. And it's right that HICWA are in and doing an evaluation. Um, but uh, the staff... Um, uh, the this, this staffing arrangement, it's been said to me on several occasions, are there arrangements that people could live closer or 
or within nursing homes. That kind of thing is being, is, is being talked about. And just finally, in relation to registration charges, 350 euros, somebody who told me that they had to pay, or they were asked to pay to re-register, even though they didn't intend to be a nurse again. Um, can we just make sure that there is nothing like that, or indeed in relation to uh, other um, allied um, expertise that are, that are in that kind of, uh, that kind of thing we shouldn't be hearing. Um, I'd just like to, again, add, with, uh, add, add, add to the other calls to uh, wish um, Tony, Tony Hull in uh, well. Um, I was very public his uh, his his um, uh, his his illness, and I hope he'll 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 um, uh, he'll be fine. Thank you. Thanks, uh,